A number of years ago, I was working with a couple, kind of marriage counseling. They were in their 70s. I'm in a private session with the husband. He says, you know what's wrong with my wife? She doesn't know how to forgive. He begins to tell me a story that demonstrates that. I said, when did that happen? 40 years ago. 40 years ago. Then I'm having a private session with his wife. And she says, you know what's wrong with my husband? He doesn't know how to apologize. And she begins to tell me the exact same story from 40 years ago. How long do people hold on to this stuff? You know, people are living in the past and people are living in the future. But life only happens now. The past is a memory. The future is an anticipation. But only the now is real. The now is the connection between the past and the future. But where is life happening? It's happening now. The Torah tells us that Sarah, the matriarch, the years of her life was 127 years, and 127 years she lived her life. What does that really mean? You know, some people, they can live for 127 years, but their life was only maybe 10 years. A friend of mine who sadly lost her son, he was diagnosed with a terrible disease, and he knew he only had a couple of years to live. And he said to her mom, listen, mom, I might not live a long life, but I promise you, I will live a full life. I bless you all with a long life, but more important, a full life.